What is up everyone and welcome back. Today we're checking out the track Reason from guitar player Sue. He's from the band Galnarius. The featured vocalist is Fuki from Dollbox, Lightbringer, and Unlucky Morpheus. Really looking forward to hearing how these two interact, how she works in the framework of what he's doing. Now, I don't expect that to be a huge departure for her as she does sing and has sang in several power metal bands and Sue tends to be that kind of player. But several of you have requested this. I'm certainly looking forward to getting into it. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? The artist is Sue. The track is Reason. It's featuring Fuki on VS Vocals. And here we go. Definitely not out of his wheelhouse, that's for sure. Those big power metal riffs, the symphonic passages, very driving power metal like drum work. I do feel like we're running into that familiar issue of the synths drowning out the rest of the mix. It's a really interesting layered vocal approach from her here. Riff work is absolutely what I've expected from him. I think she's done a, doing a great job with the vocals. I like this passage here, it works. It's almost got a pop sensibility to it. I feel like her vocals need to be higher in some of these passages. She's getting drowned out. I like the riff work, but I feel like for personal taste, I feel like his guitar work is a touch thin. I really feel like those drums are too forward. Especially that kick drum, and it's so clicky. The riffs are almost getting buried. Really cool vibrato, it's almost wild and uncontrolled. I really like how she just let that go. I like that change in riffing. Always a fan of how he phrases his solos. And the licks, the lick choices he uses. This is no exception. He's building it really well. The little touches he's putting into it. Always get that neoclassical feel from him. He built that well. Bring it into this next part here. You do get a lot of Ingve and Michelangelo video and it's playing. Drums are put, drummers putting the fills in where I expect them to be and breaking up what can normally be kind of a monotonous double bass player. I do like the I do like that male vocal in there. You guessing the possibly soon?
Might just little changes there. Clearly we're getting towards the end of the track and they're bringing more of the firepower. of that classical technique and training yet still letting some of those notes have that wild uncontrolled feeling and I do really like that there was really strong really enjoyed that overall I'm not a fan of the mix gotta be honest I'm not a fan of the mix the synths really drowned out a lot of the different elements those drums are really forward really really forward they're to, and for personal preference they're up too high they're almost painful the whole kit sounds very clicky and triggered and i'm just not a fan it doesn't sound organic enough it has the whole track has, has that very bombastic orchestral power metal feel that you're going to get in a, and that I expect from Sue and Galnerius. You know, you're getting the Rhapsody of Fire and a lot of that European bombastic orchestral power metal. You get those influences. Sue is a very neoclassically influenced player. You get a lot of that in those solos. I, the sweeps are there. The Bruno Upper Stern arpeggios are there. The, I, I do really like his lead, his lick choices. He does a great job of constructing his solos. And you can certainly hear that in the presentation of him and how they're played. He is a really clean player listening to a lot of the stuff that he does. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. And seeing some of the live footage, he is very, very clean. So I love that about him. Vocally, it's honestly a lot of what I expected from Fuki. I got to be honest, as far as the track itself goes, it's, it's nothing I didn't expect. It's just a really strong track. I think she does a great job going up there in spots. I really, I think the, the end of this chorus is where she just really lets it go with that really high, really powerful, almost unbridled feeling vibrato are my favorite parts. There's a cool little poppy feeling in there and a couple of points that I really enjoyed, but I would have mixed it better. I would have toned those synths down. Anytime you get synths in a track, you always run that risk of them or since the orchestral elements overpowering the rest of the track and I really do feel like they did I feel like in tracks like this guitars need to be forward when you're doing guitar driven tracks like this those guitar tones and those guitars need to be forward I would have liked the guitars to be a little thicker maybe a little bit more layering to help cut through Just to give them a little bit more balls bass was really hard for me to make out you can hear the the rumbling of it but it wasn't very articulate overall i think it's a solid track i'm not blown away by it i don't love it but i it did deliver exactly what i expected it to deliver and for that i can't fault it i think if the mix was better 
overall and things were dialed in a little bit more for me and it wasn't painful to listen to that I would have enjoyed it. But honestly, that track hurt my ears, even with the volume on the lower side for when I do a listen. So that made it a bit uncomfortable. And because of that, I was kind of happy that the track ended. Not taking away from anybody who played on the track, not taking away from Sue, not taking away from his composition because the riffs were strong. The, the composition was really good. Just the mix issues and just it being, and honestly, just it kind of suffering from it being exactly what I expected it to be held it back from being a an amazing track. I think their work with Galnerius and Unlucky Morpheus is a bit stronger. And I think the latest Unlucky Morpheus record was just awesome. So there's that. I certainly do hope to hear more from that record. And I'm still a fan of all the players involved. So it's still always great to listen to them regardless of the context. What do you guys think? I know there's been mixed reactions and mixed reviews to this, so I'm curious to hear what you think as well. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. Thank you to my law enforcement, military veterans, and first responders, which you guys do every single day, as always. You've been awesome. I've been bald, man. See you in the next one. Be excellent to each other. That's what I think.